Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am very excited that you decided to join me here today for another speed build. Hello, it has been a little while since I have recorded a voiceover. How is everybody? If you guys did not know, I have been on a little bit of a break from creating brand new content because of an ongoing arm injury that I've been dealing with since April of last year. Yes, we are coming up on a year. Just don't get tendonitis. That's my advice, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Pay attention to your posture, stretch, take breaks, do some strength training every now and then, you know, like it, it'll be really good for your body and you won't get injured like I did, but <laughs> I'm not gonna dwell on it. I was able to use my non-dominant hand here to build in the world of Tartosa, which is the brand new world that shipped with the My Wedding Stories game pack, as you guys probably already know. And I was very much looking forward to building with this pack because I thought a lot of the assets would really complement a fair share of things that we already had in base game specifically. Now I think there are objects from tons of other packs that would kind of match and, and go with this. I think like I use a lot of paranormal stuff in this build, which might sound odd because it's kind of eclectic, but anyway, I really, really do enjoy the build and buy assets. Now, of course, a lot of them are themed towards the function of a wedding. So when it comes to decorations for a home, like a residential lot like this, there wasn't too much. I mean, there's candles and maybe a few plants. There's of course the windows and the doors, but other than that, there really wasn't too much to work with. So I almost feel as though it's a little bit odd to call this like a My Wedding Stories build. It's really just because it's in the world that came with the pack. I don't know, what are you guys thinking about the pack thus far? Now, I haven't played with any of the gameplay. I haven't touched it. I've been keeping up with what's been going on in the community though about this pack and the issues that it is shipped with. Now I know that there is a laundry list that was put out. I don't know when that's going to be patched in the game. I don't think we have a date yet, but I am hoping that all of those fixes come and they really do resolve the issues because it seemed for a lot of folks, it was virtually unplayable, which is a bummer. And that's kind of being kind about it. That's a huge, huge bummer. So I really hope that that comes soon, but we are working on the exterior of this home here. And I was working off of an image on Pinterest, which I will attempt to put on screen as long as I still have it pinned somewhere. <laughs> and I just wanted to try to get a very simple shape because I am very much intimidated by a lot of the architectural details that I noticed in this world. And I was looking for a lot of inspiration in different areas of the world. I was looking at like Italy, I was looking at Greece, I was looking at all these different places and the architecture is so beautiful and I feel like I would really struggle translating it into The Sims, but I tried my best to kind of just come up with a simple shape and use some of the architectural accents that I noticed in a lot of the photos that I was looking at. So the exterior of the build itself is pretty much together. I was just going into a debug to try to create a little fence here, which I do really enjoy. I think I ended up keeping this, but I can't remember. I might change it up just a little tiny bit. I toyed around with it a bit because I really wasn't sure what to do in the front. This lot was a little bit smaller than I was anticipating for the size build that I was thinking of. <laughs> the house actually took up a majority of the lot, but you can see I was trying the new fence and the gate that came with this pack. It just seemed a little bit too high and a little bit too much for the front yard. So I ended up trying a few different fences. I even went back into debug and I ended up finding something that I did like. And now this home is going to be a family home. I was trying to make it a rental lot originally because now, I don't know if I'm alone in this. I feel like I'm probably not, but I'm gonna pose this anyway. So <laughs> considering that this world shipped with a pack centered around weddings, it seemed as though this would be a great place for a destination wedding. And that's what I was picturing this as, a destination world and not necessarily a residential world. That's just me. It really just, the whole theme of the pack kind of encompassing that thought. <laughs> It just made sense to me. So I was gonna make this a rental lot, but then I was thinking, well, they gave us the ability to live here. Why would I just make everything a rental? That seems silly. So I wanted to make a family home because you guys know I love family homes and we are already on to the interior. So this ends up having two bedrooms and I wanna say three bathrooms. I usually try to make the bedroom bathroom ratio a little bit more even, but I had the space for an additional bathroom. So I thought, why not? And the floor plan was really odd. <laughs> and that's really just because the second story is a little bit smaller than I was anticipating and having to place the stairs somewhere. Like it was just, it was just hard. <laughs> it was not easy to kind of plan out. And even though I had only been off for about two to three weeks, 
at the time of me building this house, I felt really rusty. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else experiences this. Like if you don't build for a couple of weeks, when you come back in, do you just forget everything that you thought you ever knew? Because I definitely did. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, well, how this, does this seem like a reasonable floor plan? Is this enough space for X, Y, and Z? Am I laying this out in a way that's logical? Like I, I was just very confused through the whole thing. <laughs> so I started off with the living room because the living rooms are usually my favorite room to decorate aside from kitchens and kids rooms because kids rooms can just be crazy so I absolutely love it but I ended up starting with the living room because I had a really good idea of what I wanted to go for there were a handful of base game items that I knew I wanted to use to kind of set the tone now what was really fun was actually using some base game wallpapers I, I say wallpaper it's technically a stone or a tile but <laughs> this tile that I used is just a very neutral color it has the kind of like tile trim at the bottom that's a darker brown that's actually base game had no idea so that was kind of fun and then I was also able to use this flooring I think it's a marble flooring which makes this lot very expensive by the way there are a lot of expensive items in this build it's like a hundred and 20 something simoleons I don't even remember I would have to look I could be I could be off but I think it's a reasonably expensive home so I used a marble flooring which I thought looked really really nice I was going to use a, a tile or kind of like a brick or something but this looked really pretty to me so I ended up using that here I do have some wood flooring upstairs in the bedrooms just to kind of change it up a little tiny bit but I thought the living room was really pretty I used a ton of more so this like Elizabethan Victorian furniture that we have with base game because I thought it really fit the look of the build. I don't know. I don't really know what the interior design style is in a world like Tartosa. I don't really know where the roots are because it seems to be kind of like a combination of different things. I was looking at things in like Italy. I was looking at things in Greece. I was trying to just get a feel for what might work here. And I think I achieved something. It's a little bit of a balance of a ton of different things. <laughs> I don't know, you guys can be the judge, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. So this is the living room. It just has these two couches. They have a little tiny TV. I was trying to squeeze in these armchairs, but they just were not gonna fit with the two archways that I had leading in here. So I ended up using them in a different area of the home, but there are a few different plants, a few of which are from the new pack. I use this statue from the romantic garden stuff pack which <laughs> I never use that pack literally ever but I thought it was a really nice addition it looked a little bit fancy and I very much enjoyed it and then there's a bookcase over here in the hallway a mirror and then I think I just add another little side table with I want to say a lamp because I couldn't think of anything else and this hallway is probably the most cramped part of the entire home I needed there to be a hallway here because I really wanted to use the archways leading into the living space but I needed a separation from the staircase that I ended up putting in like the combined kitchen and dining. It's kind of an odd layout. Hopefully it makes sense and you guys like it, but it worked for what I was trying to do. I also use a fair amount of the tool mod, which you guys have probably seen pop up every now and then. And mainly I used it to scale different items such as paintings and kind of like lower some of those floating plants outside I thought it worked really nicely I'm starting I'm going through the phase now where I love the tool mod I think maybe in the next couple months it's gonna go back to hate <laughs> I have a very love-hate relationship with it but scaling I think is my newfound joy of using the tool mod very often and then we are working on the dining room here this is a brand new table and the new chairs from the pack as well I'm saying this you guys have probably seen like I don't know dozens of builds with the new pack already so I probably don't have to mention this but <laughs> I figured why not and now that rug that I put under the dining table is from the vampire game pack and it's gorgeous I think I used one or two maybe even three different swatches of that rug in this build it's now one of my favorite freaking rugs in the game I had no idea how much I would actually enjoy it and how much it fit this style I was thrilled and I was really happy that I was able to get a full dining table here even though this is only for a family of three sims I figured that maybe this was for a family whose I don't know whose families have lived here their entire lives like they are natives of Tartosa and though it might have become a little bit more of a destination for sims from other worlds they have tried to be very open to that and very receptive so maybe they like having people that are traveling to Tartosa 
if they make friends, maybe they invite them over for dinner. Maybe they just like having lavish dinner parties. I don't really know, but I thought it was a nice idea to have the full dining table. And then this is going to be the kitchen. And I was ecstatic to use the green swatch of these counters and cabinets from, again, the Vampire Game Pack. Shooketh. I freaking love that pack. It is such a good pack. And I think it's totally underrated, though I think people are enjoying it more and more as time goes on. I love that pack so much. And then there's also a couple of bar stools here and the kitchen's a pretty decent size. I was really excited to have an island that big. And that's why I wanted to make this kitchen and dining space so large compared to the living room because I wanted to have an island like that. It just really suited what I was going for and what I was envisioning, as well as the big giant dining table. But we are going to be cluttering up the kitchen here. We're just kind of choosing a few different curtains, trying to mix and match some of the neutrals. You can see that there are hints of green and browns and beige throughout the entire build. And I really, really liked the earthy tones. I think that's how I would probably describe them. Yeah, I'd describe them as earthy tones, I think. And we cluttered up the kitchen a little bit. I had to take a little bit of a break because Lefty, my non-dominant hand, is not super duper strong. I also made sure to include the tea set because we got that with the My Wedding Stories game pack. That's what I'm most excited for, to be totally transparent, was really the tea set and the world. Now, again, I'm not gonna harp on it, but I do really hope that the gameplay is fixed because I have plans to use the gameplay from this pack for something that very much excites me. I'm not gonna spoil it. For those of you that have been around the channel for a while, you probably could piece it together, but there's gonna be a wedding at some point, and I'm excited to build a wedding venue in another world in particular, not just here. Anyway, we are cluttering up the kitchen, adding a few different decorative pieces, and this was pretty much when I decided it was going to be a family home. I think when I was in the living room, I was still kind of thinking it would be a rental, but once I start cluttering up kitchens, that's like very personal to me. I've mentioned it before, so I kind of figured, you know what, this is gonna be a family home. It's gonna, they're gonna be natives of Tartosa, and I just want it to fit them and make it look really, really lived in. I also added that little shelf from Cottage Living above the stove. I thought it was really cute and really complimented things here. And I love that little fruitcake. <laughs> it, I get like cute aggression over it, which it makes no sense because it's literally food, but it's so cute. I love that detailed item so much from one of the recent updates. And now this is going to be the downstairs bathroom. It is a full bathroom, which was really nice. It was kind of an odd shape just because of the placement of the stairs, but I loved using this sink from Base Game. Again, the colors match the whole theme of the entire build. And it's a pretty roomy bathroom, which I think is really nice, especially on the first floor if you're gonna be having guests potentially use that bathroom. I don't like using cramped little bathrooms at people's houses. It's completely out of their control, but I, whenever I have to use a bathroom and it's super, super tiny, I just wanna like get out of it as soon as possible. So I thought having a nice big bathroom down here would be a, a little bit of a change, a little bit of a different approach to it, especially because I had the room. Originally I was thinking it might be a bedroom, but I thought that was really weird because it was one, very small, and two, it was right off the kitchen like that. It just felt odd for this build in particular. I've probably done it before, so I don't want to seem <laughs> don't want to seem like I'm going back on some of my other design decisions. But I thought it was a really nice bathroom. Again, using that rub from the Vampire Game Pack, and then moving on to the second story, where I did pretty much use the same tile like wallpaper throughout the entire build just because I thought it looked really cohesive. But again, I used the marble flooring up here on the landing area, and then I ended up using wood flooring in the bedrooms. And finding curtains for these little tiny windows for as low as I put them on the wall was kind of hard, but I sized these curtains down that I ended up using downstairs. And then I did use the tool mod to lower them a little bit so it still looked pretty natural that they were kind of bunched up at the bottom on the floor and it covered the windows really nicely. I was so, so pleased. I added the desk from the paranormal stuff pack as well as an easel here. I thought it would be a nice little, I don't know, it's gonna be a family computer. I was thinking home office, but of course it's very open to the stairs, but I thought it was a nice little way to use this landing space, still make it functional, but also I think really pretty. I was really excited about it. I really love that desk from the paranormal stuff pack and I don't get to use it very often. The last time I did use it was in the build that I did in Salvadorada recently. 
And before that, I can't even remember when I did it, when I used it. <laughs> I have no idea. But I thought this was a really nice space. It's a nice skill building area. There's the little typewriter computer from Cottage Living. And then there's just a few more decorative pieces. Sconces save lives. So there's tons of sconces throughout this entire build. I was also considering using that globe bar right there, but it just looked a little bit too big for the space. So I ended up pulling away from it and not using it at all, though it might be a great addition to a build like this. It might work for a study, I think. That be really nice and that's pretty much it for this little area i was trying to put something in that little wall decorative piece there but i ended up just moving on to the bedroom where i do use this bed from cottage living in the green swatch again because i think it worked really really nicely with all of the earthy tones that i used throughout this build i did notice that i had the windows at a different height in this room so i did have to move the curtains a little bit they looked a little bit less natural but I still look I still think that they looked really nice and then I just added a few nightstands and I was going to you might see it at some point but I used that wall decoration that I ended up putting in like the living room and um, on that landing spot over there I ended up putting those above the nightstands in this bedroom and I kind of tried to fill them that's in like air quotes I tried to fill them with these stone pieces from Jungle Adventure to make them look a little bit different, but it looked really awkward. So if you see it at any point and then you won't see it in the screenshots, that's why. <laughs> but this bedroom's kind of an awkward shape. So I did try to add like a little seating area, but I ended up thinking, you know what? I never use the vanity. So I added the vanity in the corner. And even though I couldn't really find a wood tone that I thought matched perfectly, I thought that the white would work best. I was going to go for green, but it was kind of like green overload. So I went for the white and at least I had the chair from the new game pack that kind of tied things together a little bit more for me. But again, I really stuck with the earthy tones. So it does work all in all. There's also another armchair in the corner just to add something. <laughs> and then the parents do have their own ensuite bathroom, which I thought was really nice. So that's kind of why I ended up with three bathrooms and two bedrooms. The parents have their own bathroom that they don't have to share with their child. The child even has I'm gonna say their own bathroom, but really just because it's closest to their bedroom. And then there's the bathroom downstairs, so it kind of makes sense. And then I was also using the tool mod again, just to make sure that this plant wasn't floating since I had to raise it on top of the dresser. I added a few decorations there. And then this is going to be the parents' ensuite bathroom. And it is a little bit bigger than my typical bathroom. I think the bathroom that's nearest the kids' room only has a shower and a toilet and a sink. So it's technically a three quarter bath. And that's just because it was a very odd space to fill. This this build was just filled with odd spaces that I had to kind of figure out. But I really liked the ensuite bathroom. Felt very, very cozy, very roomy. And here in the hallway, I have just that collection of photos from Dine Out. I was going to put some kids toys, but it just felt too cramped and not very natural. So I added more sconces <laughs> and I added this little wardrobe here. I always imagine that that just has linens in it. I think it's from Cats and Dogs. Yeah, it's from Cats and Dogs. And even though the wood tone didn't match perfectly to everything else I had, I thought that it complemented it really nicely. And this was going to be the kid's room. Now, I wanted this kid's room to just feel like a kid's room. I wasn't trying to necessarily match a like a decorative theme, I suppose. There are a few different ties that kind of pull it together with the rest of the build, but I just wanted it to feel like a kid's room. So I did add this little pillow. Technically it's a chair. I added it at the end of the bed to make it look like there are just some spare pillows. I've got the, the social bunny. I'm gonna call it the social bunny. It might actually be called that in the game. I, I never read the title, but in The Sims, I think from The Sims 2 on, I can't even remember, there was the social bunny. So if your Sims social need got too low, the social bunny would pop up and you'd have to socialize with the social bunny to get the social need up. How many times can I say that in one sentence? <laughs> but I added that little toy bunny. There's the nice green dresser, but I think I end up changing it to a brown just to, again, try to make it a little bit more, I don't know. I, I was trying to make it cohesive, but not too cohesive. Does that make sense? <laughs> but I added just a ton of decorations. I just wanted it to be a really cute kid's room. And I thought that the colors were really peaceful. I didn't want it to be overly bright or just overly saturated. This is kind of muted for a kid's room in my opinion, <laughs> at least with the way that I make them. But I thought it was really sweet. I'm just adding a ton of decorations. I've got those little butterfly lights on the wall, the cloud light, there's some books, the little lunch pail, I've got the creativity table. And Cottage Living, man, it really complements this 
this build, I think. I think Cottage Living works with a lot more things than I gave it credit for at first. But we are almost done decorating this room, and then that is pretty much it for the build. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts, and I will catch you next time I post a video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!